Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I'm in set up in my living room tonight and I got this spinner from Jessica Winterstrong. She is, <laughs> I guess that's what she does for a living, is she is a master um, carpenter. So I'm really excited to try this out because it will accommodate a big canvas. Now, um, it came, it's like 13 inches, and it came with these, and you just kind of screw them on. You can screw them off, too, and then just use it like this, and it has a smaller one as well. But it's, I mean, I'm really excited about the workmanship of this. Now, this is an old canvas. I tried a pearl pour. This was my first pearl pour that I tried on a large canvas, and it was... <laughs> I tried a funnel pour for the color and it all came out all at once. So I tried to work with it, but it didn't really work out. So I'm going to show you how I set everything up. Now in the center here, to make sure that my, um, my canvas doesn't sag, I have these um, pieces of styrofoam left over from, um, I think it was a t television. Yeah. And I just tape them down. You don't even have to tape them down if you cut them close enough to the size. So I don't have to bother about taping this, which is great. But what I'm going to do is tape this to the bottom of this. So I want to, it'll be easy to figure out to center it because I can just tape it right on here with these handy dandy little pieces of tape that I have already cut. Now these, this tape is, it's called T-Rex. It's pretty strong. Oh, yes it is. And I'm just going to put it on all four here. And I did use some carpet adhesive to protect my carpet and then as you see a bunch of <laughs> I have a whole bunch of leftover sheets that I have strewn about too so here we go so that should be good now turning it over mm, this, could be, this could be a problem <laughs> no it can't there we go and we have a 36 by 36 inch on a spinner. Yay! And it spins really well. Okay, enough playing around. So I have, okay, I have, this takes 51 inches, 51 inches, 51 ounces of paint. So I have some Meaden, paint mixed with Floetrol and I put a Dutch pour paint in here as well. So the, there is some water. All right, here we go. Hey, how you doing? This is um, uh, Australian Red Violet. This is Pebio Iridescent Red Blue. This is Modern Masters in pearl. This is golden permanent violet dark. This is, oh Jesus, there we go. This is golden um, quinacridone nicolaisa gold and I added some pebio iridescent precious gold. This is golden thalo turquoise. This is golden Prussian, um, Prussian blue mixed with Payne's Gray. This is Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta, and this is a mixture of Amsterdam uh, Turquoise Green and Amsterdam Turquoise Blue. So there's the colors. Yay! I'm gonna put them here. Oh, I forgot to do my edges.
This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh, it's really thick. Ah, we'll see what happens. Now let me move this out of the way. right on the crack. Let me move this over. <laughs> There's a crack in the table where it, where it folds. That's what happened. And it's still not. All right, it's gonna take me about 20 minutes to do this, I'm sure. spin right off. It's getting all over my legs. That's okay. The bathroom's right around the corner. I'm going to take a quick shower. That stuff that I put on the carpeting is awesome. Um, I meant to put a link in it the last time I did a, a pour like this. Or no, it was just something different. I don't know if this is going to work. Good boy, Ice. Consistency. I don't know if that's going to be 
good or not. Pearl. And then red, iridescent red. Then we can go with this is um, oh this is the violet dark. Wiping this off. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's all. And here we go, oh, torch. This is fun! Oh guys, I'm having too much fun doing these. <laughs> Oh, I love it already. Wow, I'm gonna lose that corner, but wow. Yep. Now we're going to spin it to high velocity, as high as I can. And let it go. Just <laughs> gonna let it go. Yeah, the one I did, oh my gosh, there were so many creatures in that thing. It was so cool. Just letting it go. Getting all set, kinds of colors and cells. This time I have no, I think the first one I put a little bit of um, cloud mix in it. Oh boy, okay, I wanted to go the other way now. Um, there's a, I see in the center, I don't know if I, it looks like a bald spot in the center. I'm gonna have to fix that. Yep. These are fun. I don't know, it might be a little bit difficult with black paint. <laughs> and I don't really care for black with these because it mutes down the vibrant colors. 
So I think if I ever, whenever I do these, I'll probably continue to do them with the white. Um, I just will mix my paint just a tad thinner next time. Um, so far, so good though. Yeah, because it could afford to go off a little bit easier, but I'm not crying. I'm just letting it go. I'm gonna fix that center in a second. What color shall I put in there? Hmm. This is cool. I really like it. There's all kinds of cells, guys. All right, so there is where we're missing something. I think I'm gonna put some of the Violet Dark. And let me grab it so I don't make a huge mess. There we go. I don't even mind that I got a couple drops in the Quinacridone Nicolaso Gold. But I should probably there we go. Alright, another spin. I'm gonna keep spinning it. It looks really cool though. I'm gonna um, take a minute, go get my, um, oh shoot. I wish I had slippers right now. <laughs> oh, I've got a pair of, that works. Flip flops right there. I'm going to get my um, <sighs> tweezers. I'll be right back. I have to take these off right here. I hope my feet are full of pain. Um, so I, I'd love to be able to do this outside. I don't know where I could do it, where it wouldn't um, succumb to the wind and the bugs and all that other stuff. There we go, there's one. Not too many of them. That's a divot. I'm just gonna try and get some of this paint off the sides. Just let it go around and around. This is really pretty because it's got some um, beautiful, styles in it. 
for the most part, it's super bright and I like it like that. And there's a lot of color blending, which I like that too. I have another bald spot, I see, right in the center. What color shall I put here? Gonna have to, it's gonna have to be some, somewhat muted. Uh, all my sticks are completely covered with paint. There we go. I'm just gonna stick my finger in there. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Not too much. I mean, I could mess around with this all night. I really could. It's so cool just the way it is, though. I don't want to muck it up. No mucking. And I just hope it dries well, that's all. There's one spot right there that doesn't look like it has a lot of paint. Um, all right, well, I'm going to take you guys down for a close-up in a little while after it uh, has a chance to develop a little bit more. But this right here is just spectacular. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm really happy. I like the order that I put the colors down in. I like that they're coming off the, the edges. Really pretty. Yeah. Am I making you dizzy yet? <laughs> I would highly recommend trying something like this. Um, next time I could put a little bit of something that sells up a bit, but I don't mind that there's just cells in one area. Um, and then there's like splats all over the place. This. little bald. Do I have anything else in here? They're just bubbles. Not a whole lot of them though. Yeah, next time, thinner paint. So, see how this dries and um, if it doesn't dry well, then I guess I'll have to, I don't know what I'll have to do. This is, <laughs> this will be the second time. You can only pretty much do, oh, uh, pour overs on like three times and after that it's like nah. Wow there's some stuff coming up here too now. I am going to torch after I get all this stuff off my hands. God I hope I've got that covered. Nah. Oh I'm gonna have to take a, a rag to that soon. <laughs> when it's on its side like that. The only thing I'm worried about is if it's not enough. If it's not level, then there's nothing I can really do about it at this point. Whoa, okay, that's enough. He's saying that's enough for me. All right, guys. Hope you had fun because I sure did. Okay guys, I can't get up on a ladder right now because I have vertigo, which they think it's Meniere's disease. But look at that. Oh, 
pretty darn happy. Unfortunately, there's my ceiling fan you can see up there in the reflection. Um, yeah, I can't uh, can't get up on a ladder right now. So might have to do one of those Sarah Taylor ones <laughs> flyovers. Look at that. Ooh. The colors are really vibrant. Love this color combination. So, that's it. Sticking to the floor. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun too. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now. Thank you.